Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever it is for you. I have been doing a little digging around on this potential suspect for the Delphi murders, Mr. Keegan Anthony Klein. And I've put together some pictures and I've come across some voice comparisons and things that I thought would be interesting for everybody to take a look at and kind of give me your opinions on. Let's start by looking at the photos I've been able to come pull together. All right, this first photo here on your top left is the 2020 mugshot for Keegan Klein when he was arrested for all of the child pornography charges and those things that he was involved in. The one in the middle of the screen is the sketch that police are now saying we need to be focused on. They've took the other sketch, you know, there, there was two sketches. There was one of an, that depicted an older man with a totally different hairstyle and wearing a hat. And they, they are now saying that that, that sketch is not relevant. They don't want us looking at that at all anymore. It's, out of the picture they've moved on from that so now we are looking for this young the picture of a young man or younger man here and of course the one here on the end is the known photo that was taken from a still shot of the video that was taken off of the girl's cell phone the picture on your bottom left here that is keegan in 2018 and that was taken from his Facebook account when he had updated his Facebook to say that he had moved to Las Vegas, which don't know whether or not he actually was ever living in Las Vegas. That has not been verified by anybody to my knowledge. And it's quite possible that he was lying about that as well. Maybe he just went there on vacation for a few days and came back home. But you can't put any kind of confidence in anything that he posted on social media. Obviously he's done nothing but lie about multiple things. And this last picture down here is from 2013. I cropped, I did crop this picture, but I didn't, I didn't change it in any way. I cropped it out because there were two other people in the photo with him that, we're not relevant to this and they didn't need their information out there. The only problem I have, I know people are trying to compare him to this sketch and there's people that are saying, yes, it's definitely him or no, I don't think it is altogether. But to me, you really can't tell. Because unfortunately, as of right now, and I'm going to keep digging on it and hopefully I'll come up with something, but I haven't been able to find a picture of Keegan, a known picture of him from 2017. I've hit on all the other years, 2020, 2018, 2013, but not for the year in question. But as, you, as we can clearly see from these photos, his weight fluctuates quite a bit because he looks much larger in this 2020 photo than he did back in 2013, and he's definitely bigger than he was in 2018. This is being the 2018 photo is the closest I could get. Let's move it up here. See if we can make it just a little bit bigger so we can get a better look at this. I don't want to crop it out too far because there is his father in this picture with him. And I don't, he's not been named any kind of person of interest or suspect at all. So I don't want to put his face out there no more than it already is, but let's see what we can look here. It's kind of hard to tell because he has the hat on, but it does appear that their hairstyle is similar. The mouth is definitely similar. I don't know. See, the chin, the whole chin thing is kind of off. Because Mr. Keegan here has more of a well-rounded, almost double chin. So that that's a little off. But also, too, you can't really, I don't think you can put a lot. The only confidence you can put in the sketch 
is a composite sketch is only as good as the person who drew it. You know, it's only as good as the artist who drew it and the person who was giving them the details to draw the picture. And we know from experience in a lot of other cases, eyewitnesses do get things wrong. You know, they're not perfect. None of us are. There have been, I have seen where they've done composite sketches of people before. And then when the actual person is found, it's like, no wonder we couldn't put it together. That looks nothing like them. You know, that's like way polar opposite, but I can see some similarities in this, like their, the eyes, maybe nose, you know, that's just little things you can look at there. It's always been said the easiest way to tell two images together is to try to lay them on top of each other, but that's not exactly going to work on this because I'm not, don't have the right software to be able to fade that out to make it work. But I think those two come, these two pictures come closest to being a resemblance to each other. You definitely can't. I don't think you can really tell anything by this photo. This is the photo is too dark, but he does. He does look thinner in this photo and he doesn't have the whole double chin thing going on there. So they there, he's got that going for him there. And then this, the ear, they kind of have the same similar ear shape, but not, you know, not exact, not a hundred percent correct, but I would say they're pretty close. I mean, that's just for me looking at it. Of course, y'all let me know what you think about it. And hopefully that'll come up with something there. Um, I do have another really interesting bit that I found. Everybody was talking about the voice clips. We know the known bridge guy voice clip of guys down the hill. I found two small short videos on YouTube that are comparing Keegan's voice with the bridge guy voice. To me, it's a, it's a little hard to kind of match them up. I mean, they're saying that they're similar, you know, it could be the, it could be him, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to compare because the, the known voice clip that we have is kind of gar. It's kind of, muffled and you know of course it had some issues from when they were able to extract it from the phone but again you know fbi did a heck of a job they did the best they could at saving that audio and video and getting out the information that they did and god bless them for that because if not for that we would have zero clues to go on here but let's take a look at this video or, or a listen, shall we say, and we'll see what y'all think. Let me, oh, hold on. You know what I did? I put it on the wrong page. Here we go. Let's go back. There we go. I promise y'all I'm going to get it together one of these days. Probably not all at one time, but it's going to happen. <laughs> Doing the best we can here. We're going to have to go with it. Just, just bear with me, folks. Okay. Ryan says we need to create a series of box smashing. Ryan says we need to create a series of box smashing. Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Shit gamers say. Okay, let's see if I can slow this down a little bit and if that might help us to compare it a little bit easier. I don't know. It's worth a try, though. We'll see what we get. Shit gamers say. 
Yeah. Ryan says we need to create a series of box smashing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go through that one more time. I'm just going to back it all the way up to the start. And we're just going to go through it with it slowed down and see what happens. I always get confused on which way this thing's supposed to go. Let's try it right here. And we'll just see what we get. Ryan says we need to create a series of box smashing. Ryan says we need to create a series of box smashing. Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Shit gamers say. Shit gamers say. Okay, so when you slow that down, it does seem to be similar. I mean, I can't say that it is exact, spot on, accurately a match for that voice comparison, but it does it does seem a little similar to me. I mean, we'll let me know what y'all think about that. Um, I do have one more. Let me see if I can find this other video real quick. There was one more. I'm going to share this one. I, I'm not real clear on this one, though. Because I believe there is more than one person speaking in this one. I think that Keegan and somebody else is talking and then they're comparing it with the bridge guy so kind of confusing on which is which but let's see what we can figure out brett's googly eyes brett's three-legged dog three legs three legs ryan says we need to create a series of box smashing oh yeah Box smashing number three. Last box smashing, everybody. Taught someone how to play some 2K. Brett doing housework like a bitch. Hidden talent. What the fuck is this shit right there? So that was supposed to be Keegan's voice in that one. But it was kind of kind of iffy to me whether that was Keegan and someone else or was that just him? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've been listening to these for two. You know, if you listen to something long enough over and over again, it all kind of starts to run together. So that could be what's going on there. Um but I did find, hold on, what did I do? Okay. I did find another profile that Keegan Klein has out. It looks as though he created a wiki page about himself, which has turned out to be all lies. But let me share that with you, and then we will discuss that one. Keegan Klein. This is his wiki page he created. Get off my screen, ads. Keegan Anthony Klein, born May 27th, 1994. 
lead vocalist and guitar player of pop punk band, Keegan Klein and former live fill-in lead singer of the band Pele Royale. He is an inspiring musician living in Las Vegas and Indiana, currently writing his album Vegas, which is scheduled to drop worldwide streaming March 13th, 2020 under Gold Bar USA. He is managed by Artery Foundation. He got an offer while playing poker in Las Vegas for a job with the Red Bull signed band Beartooth. He went on tour with them for two months and decided to join them for the Vans Warped Tour 2015. He also worked on the Vans Warped Tour 2017 and 2018. He then got a gig with Emma Rosa for a fall tour. He has worked with the following bands, Silverstein, Taking Back Sunday, The Used, Panic at the Disco, Save the Day, Paramore, Hawthorne Heights, Senses Fail, We the Kings, Say Anything, Boys Like Girls, Under Oath, May Day Parade, The Starting Line, and Cute is What We Aim For. Before his break, he was a blackjack dealer, professional poker player, and he co-owned a marijuana delivery service in Las Vegas. He currently has a marketing company called Klein and Company. He is set to go on tour late 2020 to kick off his album release and has a tour scheduled with Dizzy Wright and Paris Shadows. I would say that's quite the lengthy, run-on, garbage-filled autobiography because in investigating this, I have found out that attorneys, lawyers, and legal representatives of many of these bands, it has been confirmed that they do not know Keegan Anthony Klein. He has never worked for them, and they have no idea what he's even talking about here, why he would even put this kind of stuff out there. So I'm not sure what he was trying to accomplish by doing this. I don't know if he was, was he trying to get into some kind of music thing and he was just fluffing his resume up, so to speak, to make himself look good, thinking that would better his chances. I have no idea. Or was this another one of his ploys, just like using the models, pictures, and biography snippets on his other social medias to perpetrate his illegal activities? Who knows what this person is thinking, but it is just more proof of how, I guess, delusional would be a good word to use that this guy really is. But I did find out that he does actually have music out, if you want to call it that. And let's we're, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll take a listen to a little bit of that. I mean, hopefully I won't get in trouble for it. But if I do, oh, well, you know, sometimes you just got to take one for the team. Take one for the team and suck it up, Buttercup. We'll be all right. There's two songs that he's got listed here on SoundCloud. And there is no, like, I've not found any kind of music contract record company or anything that has even heard of this guy. Um, not yet. I mean, I'm sure this is probably him, but you'll see what I mean when you listen to it. It's garbage. It's all auto-tuned and it's computer generated music that he is perpetrating and pulling off as being his own. So let's take, let's take a listen to it. I had to torture myself by listening to it. Now I'm going to torture you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'm not, I'm not trying to torture anybody, but we're going to listen to it anyway. Yeah, I don't want you to 
if you don't want to, your baby feel me out, your baby hear me out, I know you got things that you heard about, huh? you cry in my psyche, you the life for the party, nah. you got me fucking with nobody, nah. girl I want you on and you right, I feel you look familiar, I got my mind on the money and you looking like a million, your baby be my secret. Okay, I'm not going to play the entire song because I don't think we really need to hear the rest of it to know that this is, yet again, one more of his online games that he's playing to try and portray himself as somebody that he's not. The more I look into this guy, the more stuff I find on various different websites and different social media platforms that I don't know th this dude has some serious mental health issues going on some serious delusions I'm sure law enforcement FBI and everybody that is looking into him already has this information about all these other websites and things that he's on but I don't know I mean I'm sure they're looking into that. I don't know if it is any relevance to what they're investigating, but I am going to, I'm going to go back and look, cause I did just notice at the side of the screen there, there's other music companies that he has listed that I had not seen before. I think I'm going to reach out to some of them or attempt to and see if I can get any confirmation from them, whether they know this guy or not. They may not answer me. They may not respond, but it's worth a try. And if I get any information back from any of them, I will hop back on here and let you guys know. As always, thank you for watching my videos. And just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about those video comparisons. The, the sound, audio clips, and the pictures. We're, we're going to keep going on this and see what else we can uncover. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Love you.